Hi, welcome to this video where we will explain what retrospective is and how to do it with Agilebox. First things first, what is a retrospective? Well, in Agile project management, a retrospective is a meeting where the team reflects on their recent work and identifies ways to improve. It's a chance to learn from your mistakes and make sure you're always moving forward. Retrospectives are important because they help you to identify and fix problems, improve your team's process, learn from your mistakes, and make sure you're always moving forward. There are some common steps that most retrospectives follow. One, set the stage. Two, gather data. Three, generate insights. Four, identify actionable items. Five, decide on action items. Six, close the retrospective. Now let's introduce Agilebox. It's a powerful tool that helps you conduct effective retrospectives within Jira, which is developed by Dev Samurai team. You can get it directly from the Atlassian Marketplace. Agilebox offers a feature called Agile Retrospectives for Jira that enhances the sprint retrospective process for Agile teams. Here are the steps to run an Agile Retrospective meeting with Agilebox. Firstly, download the Agilebox app from the Atlassian Marketplace. Then go to Apps option in Jira and choose Agilebox to access. Next, find and access the Agile Retrospectives tab on the Agilebox app. Click on the Add Meeting button in the top right corner and fill in the required field to create a new meeting. Agilebox provides various templates of retrospectives to choose. You can start working on the Reflect stage by adding opinions in each column. Opinions from other members are hidden in this step. Click on the Next button to move to the next step after everyone finishes adding reflections. At the Group stage, the facilitator will drag and drop the related reflections in order groups for later discussion. Click on the Next button after finishing grouping to move to the next step. At the vote stage, each participant has a number of votes to vote for the groups. The number of votes per participant and votes per group are configurable. The facilitator can click on vote settings to change the numbers. In the last stage, every participant will discuss the groups from the previous stages. The participants can create new issues for each group by clicking on the Add Issues button when discussing. In this final summary stage, Participants can see an overview of the meeting by the number of reflections, groups, participants, and new issues. And there you have it, a successful retrospective using Agilebox. Try Agilebox now with the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below.